Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and today I'm going to be talking about Pluto TV. I usually do a streaming service recommendation video where I recommend titles on different streaming services. Pluto TV sort of doesn't work like that. It does have an on-demand option where you can, you can find movie streaming and stuff for free. That's not really what it's mostly known for, and so I wanted to sort of do a review of it because one, it's a free streaming service, and I know people you know are looking for more free streaming options, especially right now. But this is actually one of my favorite streaming services just because of how it works and everything like that. So I kind of just wanted to do a video to explain why I like it so much. First off, it is free and it is very available. You can get it on your iPhone, you can get it on your computer. Just go to Pluto.tv and it's right there for free for you to watch right then. No sign in, no login. It's not like one of the ones where you have to sign in anyway, even though it's free, you can just go there and start watching stuff. I have it on my Roku, I've watched it on my computer, I've watched it on my phone, I've watched it everywhere, and I've liked each experience very much, but it's like having live TV. It basically works like TV. The difference between these channels and a normal channel, some of them are curated, they'll have a specific subject, like, you know, classic cartoons, or I think they have one that's just like, you know, celebrity or BT or, you know, thing that are normal channels and things like that. But other times they have specific shows, like they have um, the Carol Burnett show was one that recently happened. They have one that's just Star Trek. They have classic Doctor Who. They have Mystery Science Theater, which is mostly why I got into it. They have riff tracks and you just click on those channels or anime. They have unsolved mysteries. There's probably more channels than I can even discuss in this video. But um, it's cool if you really like a show, like my daughter likes the Dora the Explorer one, we can just turn it on and Dora's just playing. She's right there. It's on. Cool. And that's what's so great about it. So if you like any of these channels on here or a show that has a channel on here and you just be like, man, I wish that someone was just, it was just on, you can just go and watch it. And that's actually really great. That's one of the things I really like about it. It has various different categories that these shows are in. And the, it kind of works like a channel guide. If you know any channel guide and you just sort of go through it, it basically works like that. It's very easy to go through because you're not working with a different, you know, layout or something like that. It's just like, you know what a channel guide is. You get, you go there, you know, Pluto TV it works perfectly fine. So they have various different categories. They have one that's called featured, which just seems to be ones they really like right now or ones that are newer and stuff that's neat i don't know but <laughs> the main categories they have are um, movies entertainment news and opinion they have a seasonal one they had a couple for halloween they currently have a bunch for christmas they have one that's just you know the yule log that's neat i don't know <laughs> so if you need that going from now until christmas which maybe you do things are rough right now then it's there for you um, but I don't know how often that changes I didn't remember seeing that in the summer or anything so I don't know the full history of that one they have uh, reality crime as your CSI's things like that also as infotainment kind of documentaries like unsolved mysteries forensic files things like that comedy that has mystery design theater on it if you're wondering as well as riff tracks and uh, a lot of comedy central stuff like stand-up I believe it has a Tosh.0 things like that they have classic tv which that has um the johnny carson channel which some of these peacock has a similar kind of ripoff version and they have a similar unsolved mystery channel i have not checked if they're playing and a johnny carson channel i've not checked if they're playing like the same channel or they're different channels i've kind of wondered that but i haven't gone into that they have home and diy they have explore what's explore is that just travel Should Oh, it's like cars and stuff. Okay. Didn't even... See, they have so many, I didn't know. They have sports, gaming, and anime, which has things like IGN, uh, a Minecraft TV, a GameSpot has one. They have uh, Roboblox, Anime All Day, which currently is playing Digimon. Uh, they have Music, Latino, Kids, which has a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles channel, Nick Jr., Nickelodeon, just a kids animation channel, which plays all sorts of cartoons you forgot anyone had the rights to. I know they have a lot of ads for Archie's Weird Mysteries. They actually have a local section where you can watch local news from various CBS outlets. So if I could literally watch the CBS local news in like Minnesota and Philly and stuff like that, which now I'm looking at <laughs> I didn't realize how weird that was. Anyway, um, if you're wondering why it's all CBS, CBS or Viacom, as uh, Blue TV was bought recently by Viacom, 
Um, it seems like they're not just doing Viacom things, but they're like mostly doing Viacom things. So um, a lot of I've seen a lot of suggestion and other reviews and stuff that they will be pushing CBS All Access or Paramount Plus when that happens, probably. But I think um, the thing is about streaming services, there's a lot more than we really talk about. We seem to only talk about like four or five of them. Um, but there's a lot of free ones that are making a lot of revenue. They're doing major ad campaigns or making it especially right now. And I think Pluto TV, I doubt they're just going to get rid of it or make it a pay thing or make it all CBS because I'm sure they're making money off of the Johnny Carson channel, Mr. Science Theater channel. And much like I've said before with other streaming services, cult stuff works better for these services because they know they'll get someone like me to be more interested in their streaming service. Like now, I like it so much, I wanted to make a video. And I think like... And I came for one show and then my daughter got into it. So I think it's like there's a specific reason they do classic TV. They have one day at a time channel. There's one day at a time screening there. You can, if you do have it on your phone, you can get notifications about new channels they have. And if they, I think they did a Robert Downey Jr. night recently when I made this, things like that. It's, it's a really cool streaming service and I really, really enjoy it. And especially because if you want to just randomly have, you know, just TV on and specifically like not, you're not really into what's going on in modern TV. There's like so many options from like 90210 to Degrassi to just the show, you know, TV land specials. Like they have all sorts of things and you can find stuff on there. Um, the one thing is it does feel weird. Like you have to actually catch things at certain time slots. I, the movie section, like I haven't, I've sort of watched some of, but it's usually movies I've already seen. They have things like, you know, black cinema, 70 soul cinema, like Paramount movies network, all sorts of things like that. There's a lot of really cool options on here. And that's one of the things I just like about Pluto is the, there's just so many cool things and I can just like suddenly start watching something. And I often actually use it more than actual TV because it kind of caters more to my taste. And I sort of miss the days when cable was just like, let's just run a marathon of this. I don't know, everyone wants to go home. And then they became more corporate and less likely to do that. And Pluto TV really actually reminds me of something like that, which I think is like really cool. If you're looking for something and you're like, you know, most of the streaming stuff doesn't appeal to me and you're looking for weirder kind of stuff, I'd recommend it for that, but I think it has a lot of mainstream stuff as well. I would just poke around, look at the various categories. You can definitely find something in there and even poking around more while doing this, I found more options than I was even aware of. It's just like hundreds and hundreds of channels and they're putting more on all the time. And I think hopefully this Viacom thing will work out and they'll still have First off, Mystery Science Theater. I hope that never goes away because it's just like so much fun. And and that they even play like weirder episodes and episodes I'd never seen before. And like I think they played the very first. They play the Green Slime episode. They play Film Crew. They play weirder, obscure things because they have to run it all the time for 24 hours. So um, sometimes I've noticed you'll get like kind of stranger things just because like they have to fill out the slots and stuff like that. So it's for fans, it can actually be a lot of fun. Yeah, I recommend it. Just go to PlutoTV.com and just start watching right now, at least in America. I don't know what it's like in other countries, but it's very available. It should be available through your cable, your TV might already have it, it phone, everything. It's very available, which is also what I like about it. But anyway, um, please let me know what your favorite Pluto TV channel is or a cool experience you've had with it and subscribe if you would like to.